my name is Carolyn Molnar, and I have an extensive library of videos based on my followers' questions. Send your questions on spirituality via my website, carolynmolnar.com, and if it helps many, it may appear on my YouTube channel. The answers are based on my 40 plus years of experience as a psychic medium. Some of these topics you may not agree with, so please move on to the next. These clips are for information only. So I invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Hi. Okay, this is a complicated question and I may have to read my notes to make sure that I get everything in. So the question from the reviewer is, regarding a soul's progression on the other side, I understand there is a concept of levels where the soul progresses until merging with the one. This feels like an annihilation of one's identity, like merging a, in a soup of nothingness. We feel good, we feel love, but do we float in this sea of de-individualization applied to being a unique soul? Do we stop being our individual soul identities because those who have reached nirvana don't come back? The grasping of this concept is difficult. Well, yeah, as a human, it would be very difficult to grasp. I totally get it, and it, it unnerved me to begin with, but here's the message I got from Spirit. We are each part of the whole. Our soul is that connective part. When we go back from where we originated, we come reconnected back to our source. As to what that experience is, we don't know, as we haven't had first-hand information. It's not attainable from this vantage point. We have to be there, but we can't come back. What we understand is that we think of ourselves as individuals, not part of a collective. That is what we have to learn while here. Everything is interconnected, and the ultimate interconnection is when we return home to source. I hope that clarifies things. I have had to speak to Spirit about this one because off the top of my head, that was a tough one to answer.